hello guys welcome back to the next tutorial so continuing with the dictionaries we're gonna talk about nested dictionaries similar to list we can have nested dictionaries as well python is really really flexible in nesting objects it allows them so well and we can call methods in them and all those things so let's take an example so this is an example one right so what we can have is we can define a dictionary called d and we can have the first key called k1 and then after the colon we are defining the value for key one right and now for the value we have one more dictionary so basically this whole internal dictionary it's a value for the key called k1 and inside this dictionary now we have a key which is the nest key one and the value for this is nest value one and then we have a nest key two and then we have a nest value two right so let's see how we can use in real world let's again take our the world famous car example and we're going to take a look at it so let's define a dictionary call again cars something like that and let's define it so the first thing that i'm going to give is the car call bmw so this is right now the key for my value and you're gonna see what i'm doing and it's gonna be really interesting so i'm gonna save multiple properties of the car bmw in this one dictionary and then i'm gonna save same things for other cars as well so this is the key for it now i'm gonna start with creating one more dictionary as the value for the key called bmw and this dictionary the internal dictionary this is the nested dictionary right it's gonna have the first key as model. I am I'm I'm gonna I, I'm no I know that you guys are gonna guess what I'm doing. And for the model, we'll have a key, and the key we can call it as uh, 550i, right? And then with the comma, we're gonna have one more key, which is the nested key two, and this is here, and we're gonna have a value called 2016. So now I have a dictionary with the key called BMW and this BMW has a nested dictionary as the value and in this nested dictionary we have a model for BMW and here for BMW. So basically we stored all the information for BMW in one key value pair, right? Similarly what I can do is now I can separate this with comma, right? And I can define a uh, another key called pens and then I can do the same things exact same thing so I can just copy this out from here and paste it up there and let's change the model to maybe again e350 let's keep the same things so not to get confused and the model maybe to 2015 so we have a dictionary now created with the key called BMW and the value as a nested dictionary and another key called pens and a value as nested dictionary right so this is so interesting. We are building nested dictionaries with dictionary ins inside a dictionary as the value and all those things. And we can access all of them, right? So let's see how we can access them. So let me just first write the example one for you guys. So, get, so it's just easy for you. So the example is gonna be, we're accessing the, let's say first key one, right? And then inside the key one, we will have, once we access that thing, so we will have the values, right? So we will have the value for this, uh, and which is the whole dictionary basically, right? So once we have the complete value, so this is basically a, diff a little bit of different example than this. So right now we have two keys outside and then all the keys have this, uh, one next is nested dictionary as the value and inside it we have one key and inside it we have basically a dictionary with multiple keys and values but let's say i want to access this value right so what i can do is from this dictionary first i access key one which is going to give me the complete dictionary this one right and from this i just want to access the nest value one so i can just directly access my nest key one so what I can do is I can just do this nest key one and it's going to give me the nest value one. So this is how we access this value. If we wanted to access nest value two, we could just simply replace it with nest key two, right? So let's see how we can access the year for BMW. 
so let's access it and the year for BMW is an integer so let's doesn't matter so let's put it BMW year something like that and let's access it so cars and we need to provide the key first so BMW and then we will have this whole dictionary as the value right because using the key we are accessing the value basically so don't get confused guys we are not accessing the key by providing the key inside the dictionary we are accessing the value so we're gonna get this complete thing once we do this right and from this now we have a dictionary we can just say here right so if I say here I'm gonna have this value inside my BMW here right this variable so I can just print it out so BMW here and let's run the code super quick and I get it 2016 right so let's inside this print as well without declaring a variable let's do a little bit more fun so let's print out the model for Benz so so I'm gonna say model here and I'm gonna say Benz here right so let's do this and print this stuff out so we have e350 so that's how we can access the nested dictionaries guys so that's how we define the next nested dictionary and that's how we access the nested dictionary so i'm going to upload the code for your reference feel free to use it refer it practice it as much as possible and just to just uh, to end the lecture i wanted to say that you can build a nested dictionary inside it as well so it's it doesn't end here right it can go to any number of nested positions so it's just one nested and you can build multiple nested uh, dictionaries as well so just practice it guys and let me know if you have any questions so stay tuned for the next one guys thanks for attending this one